Hey guys, uh, Neo here. So today I'm going to talk about retro gaming. And if you're just getting into retro gaming or you're thinking about getting into it, uh, I put together a list here of games. It'll add some variety and some depth to your collection. So uh, just a short list, uh, just some games that I have out of my collection games that I play on a regular basis that I still enjoy playing, some games that have aged really well and they're still a lot of fun, you know, even though they are 20, 25 years old, so uh, some of them probably older than that. All right, <clears throat> so the first game on the list is Super Dodgeball. This game is a lot of fun. <clears throat> so, in this game, you're playing dodgeball against other teams from around the world. Uh, so you travel about the world. Uh, at the end of the game, you do uh, fight the Russians. Uh, not fight, but, you know, play against. Uh, it, it is a game that did come out, you know, during the 80s, and that was kind of a deal, kind of a thing. So after you beat the Russians, <clears throat> you go into this really cool mirror match mode. Uh, it's really a whole lot of fun, and... Um, you know, there's like rain and thunder and lightning and it, it gets really dark and just a, a whole lot of fun. Uh, and you, the music for it was, was great. Um, always just had a, a ton of fun playing this game. It is a two player game, so you can play against your friends. Um, what else about this game? Oh, there's also a beanball mode. So it's like a free for all last man standing kind of thing. So instead of playing on a team, you're just one individual playing against uh, the computer. You can also do beanball mode in two players. Um, and so, yeah, you just want to kill everybody or knock them out and just kind of be the last person standing. So definitely check it out. A um, whole lot of fun. <clears throat> The next game on the list is RC Pro-Am. So it's a racing game, car game, whatever. Uh, you're racing RC cars. Uh, after each race, you can upgrade your car, get different tires, engine, those sorts of things. After about, I think, seven races or so, you switch car styles. So you'll play through you know a few different car styles by the time you get to the end of the game i've never actually finished because uh, the the tracks do get progressively harder the ai gets progressively better and you just have to be that much better of a driver so 32 tracks is is quite a bit it's uh, gets very skill intensive uh towards the end so definitely check it out lots of fun <clears throat> next game on the list punch out or mike tyson's punch out actually there is two different versions of this game one that has mike tyson's name on it and one that doesn't both the games are exactly the same they play exactly the same the only difference is the sticker mike tyson's name uh, on the sticker and at the end of the game other than that they're both the same it's just kind of up to you which one you want do you want the one that came out before you want the one that came out you know afterwards and where nintendo had the rights to use his name and his picture so definitely check it out um this doesn't really look like mario that is in the game but hey you know not that big of a deal it's it's a ton of fun uh, gets really skill intensive. You have to be very fast and uh, you know recognize the pattern and where you can, where and when you can hit your opponents. So definitely give it a shot. Next game on the list is Vegas Dream. So this is a casino game, but this is not your average casino game. You do have all all of the normal casino games. Uh, there are games that you would find in the casino, slots and uh, craps, roulette, blackjack. So the thing that makes this game stand out against all other casino games that I've played ever is that you do have a chance to like get married and there is like some storied events that that can happen and each each time it's different that it's it's never the same you you know the game plays different every single time or if you keep playing you know uh, the story will change so when you get married you can end up stay married and nothing happens excuse me 
or if you get married then your wife won't, might want a divorce or she might make off with a ton of your money so there's the you know that's just like one of the things that can happen in the game there's there's um other other things that can happen also you can you know get robbed or whatever um and it, it sends you home if you if you lose all your money and then you just basically start back over and it's a it's a lot of fun the next game i have on the list is river city ransom so this is a classic game uh that's you know still inspiring other games and other uh media today um anime manga comics um film um, some of the ideas for Scott Pilgrim did get pulled right from this title uh, where you're going around and beating up bad guys um, when they die they drop money or coins um, and you know that that animation on Scott Pilgrim where the coins just bouncing in the air and making the little sound uh, that came right from this game this is where it all started so <clears throat> Yeah, definitely check it out. This is like the original beat 'em up RPG game. There's, uh, I haven't played very many other games that are like this. So, uh, when you beat up the bad guys, you take their money, you can go and spend the money in the malls. And uh, most of the time, you are buying food. So, the food raises your stats and, um, you know, raises your punch, your kick, your throw, your uh, willpower, all, all those sorts of things. So, it's a beat em up with some great RPG elements to it. Um, it's, it's a whole lot of fun. It's both one and two players. So, you know, you can throw down with some friends and go, go and save the girl. So, definitely check it out. Next on the list, Mega Man 3. I had a friend ask me how come I didn't pick Mega Man 2. Uh, Mega Man 2 is a bit more expensive of a game. Uh, I also know more people that played and had Mega Man 3 as opposed to 2. Um, I don't know. That, I mean, this is just a classic for me. It's one that I always went back to, one that I still play today. Um, yeah, so I mean that's it. I, you know, you can go either way. I think this game is a little bit cheaper than Mega Man 2. I don't, I don't know, because this is like the original that I bought when I had a kid or when I was a kid. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, check it out. It's a, it's a lot of fun and gets really difficult after you beat the first nine bosses. Next we have Hogan's Alley. So this is the only game on the list that um, is a light gun only game. So yeah, you just kill bad guys. There's I don't know. There's just a couple of like skills things so you can like shoot the the pop can or beer can and see how long you can like keep it in the air by shooting at it. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, great replay value. It's really skill intensive. So definitely check it out the last game on the list is ninja gaiden so this is the original that i had when i when when i was a kid uh, this game is still really difficult <clears throat> i've never actually finished the game but i am working on uh completing it i'm working on doing a walkthrough of it so that way uh, if you're having trouble with the game if you don't understand or can't figure out you know how to do certain things or whatever then uh you know look for that video in the future this this game all of these games have aged really well they're <clears throat> They're varying in skill difficulty. Uh, a lot of these games are a little bit harder. Probably the hardest games here would be RC Pro Am, Punch Out, and Ninja Gaiden. The other games are not as difficult. So, uh, yeah. So the reason that I went with this, these sets of games is I felt like these games have aged really well. They're they're still a lot of fun. It's also a variety of games. You, you know, there's some sports games, um, casino, you know, beat them up. So <clears throat> uh, that was one of the the requirements for the list is I didn't want to have two games that were that were too similar. So that's why I did leave out games like uh, Metroid or or whatever. And there, you know, there's there's a bunch of other games that could have been on the list. Um, 
but I just wanted to have a nice variety. Um, this is, you know, if you're definitely just getting into retro gaming um, and you just really, you're you're about playing the games, then these would be some games to check out. Um, if you're not sure, you know, what games to, to pick up or not sure which games are gonna be fun, these, these would be it. Uh, other games like Legend of Zelda, <clears throat> I know like there's a there's a lot of hardcore Zelda fans out there link fans anyways and <clears throat> a lot of times like they'll play Zelda the original on the NES and they they just don't like it they they can't get into it um, and so that's that's why I like left it off there like only the, the diehard fans that you know really loved that game as a kid and you know grew up playing throughout the series are, are really going to enjoy that um, there's other games like Deja Vu and Shadowgate that are like more point and click style and their novelty is really great but again only like the hardcore people are the people that really enjoy, uh, enjoy those sorts of games are really going to be able to get into it. I felt like this is a good variety of games that, you know, anybody can pick up and enjoy and, you know, ultimately should be a part of, of any NES collection, especially if you're, you really like playing. So if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, you know, let me know and look for some more videos to come up in the future. Thanks.